Alright guys, we're going to do a little bit of content change. Most gun guys are truck guys, but I wanted to make this video for people shopping for a Tano for the 2015-2016 F-150s. So this is a 2015 six and a half foot bed Tomax Lariat 502A F-150 in ruby red metallic. And this is the new Lear 750 Sport. Now Lear's website has atrocious pictures of this tonneau. Hardly have any information on it. They don't even go into detail about how the keyless entry works or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to give you a walk around, show you what's up with this tonneau. Uh, if you don't know, the 750 Sport was made exclusively for the F-150. Uh, one of the new designers of the F-150 body designed the tonneau in conjunction with Ford. So it matches it, fits it nice and tight. I will say after a thousand miles driving it that uh, construction, fit, finish, paint, everything is superior to a couple other brands of toppers that I bought, but you pay for it. It's $1,600 with tax and shipping. Um, plus an upcharge for the color for the ruby red metallic. Uh, the other color that they do upcharge for that is that platinum tricolor white. So let's get into the topper here. Uh, if you go to the back of it here, it has a manual flipper for keyed use. As you can see, the truck's locked, the tonneau's locked to use the new one touch key fob. You can hear that. opens up fairly lightweight um, it goes to a low opening like that if you want it to extend all the way up you do need to put some force on there to push it all the way up inside the tana you see their hinge system their lighting upgrade uh, in October they had a coupon or promotion for the carpeted headliner and some other discounts to end up getting about $150 off the tonneau. Uh, the cool thing about this tonneau, like I said, being designed for the F-150, it is tied into your keyless entry and the lighting system is tied into the lighting panel in the truck. So the factory bed lighting ties into Lear's lighting, which is nice. Loading up all these guns at 6 o'clock in the morning in the dark. So far, just want to make a quick video for you guys and for people that are subscribers to my channel. What you're getting with this new Lear 750. What it looks like, how it fit, finish. Uh, up front here, I was worried about water getting into the front of it. But as you can see, it has a... Uh, fold flat gasket and a hinge that so far has kept water out of it, kept the snow out of it. Pretty happy with it. Uh, one complaint is if you get a real heavy snow, you need to go out there and clean it off right away because once that snow turns to ice, uh, their shock and hinge system isn't strong enough to keep that thing lifted up with a ton of snow on it. That's the only complaint. Uh, the one pro on this for living somewhere that gets a lot of snow and a lot of ice is that their lock is sealed. Uh, I normally ran snug top low profile tonneaus before and the thing that drove me nuts is these locks were up on top of the tonneau and they'd get full of ice and snow and if they froze you're screwed. You'd have to wait till they unthawed or you had to go get a pen torch and hit them real quick with a pen torch uh, which is not fun to do. So anyways hopefully this helps people out who are in the market for these since Lear doesn't know how to do a good job taking pictures of their product or put videos out of their product so people know it's kind of a big risk buying this thing and ordering it because there's no refunds when you order a tonneau like this uh, but I'm happy with the overall product as far as a mileage uh, bump I've only seen a one to two mile per gallon increase but this truck's insane on mileage anyways it's getting like 23 24 on the highway uh, 18 in town easily uh, and it's still stock haven't done any exhaust or any upgrades yet so as far as their claim says, with mileage, I don't know if it's beneficial yet or not. I haven't had enough time and not enough highway driving on it. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys.